All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another great video. Today, we will be discussing the 2022 Subaru WRX. That's right, the little boy racer from Subaru has gone through a lot of changes over the years, but for 2022, it has been redesigned, revamped, and is ready to roll out. I'm really excited to talk with you guys about this car because the WRX is one of my absolute favorite vehicles ever. And just before we get into this, I want to tell you why. I'm going to tell you a little story first. This is going to amuse some of you. I want to just hit the rewind button for a second to exactly 10 years ago to the date. And this little video game called Forza Horizon had just come out for the Xbox. And I was actually really excited to play it. I mean, it had gotten a lot of attention and stuff. And I distinctly remember sitting down to play it uh, quite late in the middle of the night, if I might, if I might add close to midnight and there I was I just opened up the game and couldn't wait to play it well you know how in most racing games they stick you with the junkie cars well that's what I had felt about soup about Forza Horizon right when you first open up the game you're given two free cars to start out with you had to pick between one you could either pick between the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution or the Subaru WRX STI at the time I had literally I was not knowledgeable in cars whatsoever. I just knew that some looked good and some went really fast, and that's about that's about as far as it went for me. And some were loud, and I liked those. Well, when I first saw these two cars, I had no idea that for Microsoft to have done this in a rally racing game was a stroke of genius. I had no idea that these video vehicles had any relevance whatsoever. I looked at these things and felt like they had picked the two junkiest cars in the entire game and were tell basically telling me to pick the less junky of the junk pile. And I had no idea how to make the decision. And I ended up making the decision based purely off the fact that the WRX STI looked less ugly than the Lancer Evolution. <laughs> I'm serious. That's how I picked my car. I decided, okay, you're both ugly, but this one is less ugly. So I intended to win a couple of races in that and then sell it off the second I could and get rid of it and never have to look at it again. I never did. <laughs> That's the remarkable thing. I never sold that ugly little grotesque thing. I kept it, and as I grew on and on, and I beat the game like multiple times. The WRX STI was one of my like right hand cars. You know, I used it all the time, and to this day, if you look at my statistics page, it's my most successful car. I win the most races in it. I do the most speed skills in it. All that good stuff. Now that's a video game, but I just want to say that says something about how good the WRX is. If even through playing a video game, it was able to earn my respect like that. That's, that's pretty impressive, and I think that says something about what kind of a vehicle it is. Well, you can imagine over the years, I would occasionally see the WRX come back. Like You guys remember when Ken Block got really big when he raced for Team Subaru with the WRX? And I remember looking at it and saying, hey, that's that ugly little car I drive too. I know, that thing is so good, right? <laughs> when I first saw it. Team Ugly or whatever. But over the years, the WRX has remained one of my absolute favorite vehicles because I'm telling you here and now, for the money, you cannot get that level of practicality or, or um, performance anywhere else. It's fantastic if it is incredibly ugly. And let me just say, oh, Subaru builds quality products. I mean, they really do. They build really good cars. They have some fantastic engineers. I can't say the same about their design department because the only thing... You, you know what the WRX has actually managed to do over the years? It has gotten better, especially for 2022, and I'm just about to talk about that. But somehow, each year, it manages to get consistently uglier. I, didn't, I don't understand how that's possible. I don't know how Subaru can have these fantastic engineers building such great vehicles that I recommend and somehow get uglier year after year after year. <laughs> consistently it's impressive the only thing i can think is is there must be some internal competition going on to create an uglier vehicle every year but okay whatever i don't know what's going on there just whatever but the engineering is fantastic now when i drove the car in the video game the wrx wasn't that much interior wise it was pretty basic military bunker ish style but give major credit to subaru for over the years building a much better interior and keeping with the bones of what makes the wrx great namely its performance and and the fact it has one of the best all-wheel drive systems on the market you don't believe me look if you've got an ice problem wherever you live, get in a WRX and you can leave all those little Big Mac trucks and stuff in the snow while you just keep chugging on. That has one of the finest systems you can get. 
Now for 2022, I have to say this is the most refined WRX yet. And yes, if you're wondering, you can still get the STI, but we're just talking about the WRX model for now. And this is the best interior they put out for the first time ever. Finally, comfortable leather seats you can actually live in. A nice infotainment system with a good big touch screen with simple to use controls and knobs. Yes, glorious knobs. So we don't have to fiddle around with the um, touch screen volume that will drive you up the wall and probably cause a crash. Yes, glorious knobs. Uh, I think you have, I'm not kidding with you. For this four seater, you have nearly a dozen cup holders. Why you need a dozen cup holders for a four-seater is beyond me, but hey, you can hold all the drinks you need, so that's just a nice feature. The all-wheel drive system is still better than ever. By the way, it comes standard with Subaru EyeSight. If you don't know what that is, that is Subaru's stop uh, technology that basically it's their safety tech. And it's also one of the things that makes Subaru so great, and it comes standard. And unfortunately, I have to admit standard you get a cvt yeah i know it's more efficient it helps the vehicle but ah uh, so boring however if you're willing to belly on up and get the sti version you can still get a six-speed manual which is pretty nice by the way the sti has a really nice manual gearbox anyway that's the 2022 super wrx there's no major changes there's no new engines or anything the lights everything has remained the same the interior is really where everything comes down to earth it has the best interior yet with great seats a completely revamped infotainment system and a console that's actually easy to work with and nearly a dozen cup holders because four people need four cups each but okay or three and a half cups each okay and you do have slightly more expanded trunk space i mean now you could legitimately road trip in this thing you can hold a lot you could legitimately hold about three or four large suitcases and that's not bad for the little hatchback you've got to give major credit to that so anyway overall there was some concern over whether or not the wrx would live to see another decade but here for 2022 subaru has made it very clear that they still stand behind this great little vehicle let me tell you what makes this so great it works for everybody. If you're just someone who wants a little performance, but you got to work a job, this is your car. If you're a family person who needs a great family hauler for the price, WRX is your car. It appeals to so many different markets and people. It is a fantastic vehicle, still ugly, but look, the value just cannot be beaten. So I have to say for 2022, well done, Subaru. You've done so well to refine this car, which it really needed. And again, if you're in the market for a new family hauler, I highly recommend checking out the WR, this 2022 WRX for its practicality, affordability, and safety. So thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.